So, I'm Richard, and this is my Analog Life. And this is a series I like to call my Artist Insight, where I bring you um, artists, models, photographers, anyone in the creative sphere, to give you a bit of an insight into what makes them tick, how they think, how they find inspiration, and just generally um, about their life, and give you an insight into the other side of the camera, or, yeah, generally motivation and inspiration. You might find interesting. So today I've got with me model L, um, and I'm going to give a um, bit of an insight into her life, what she gets up to, what interests her. So, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the first question is: Tell us a bit about yourself, who you are, and what you do. Uh, I'm L L J. Um, um, I'm a professional model. I've been modelling for four years. Um, I'm also a mum of two. Um, so I'm very busy, very hectic. Um, so yeah, that's, that's me. I'm 33. So, yeah. um, so how did you get into modelling? Um, well, originally I trained as an actress. Um, and I worked a lot doing, doing acting and things like that. Um, but then me and my husband decided we wanted to have children. Um, and uh, he then bought me a boudoir session for my 30th birthday. I didn't think of anything of the acting or the modelling or anything like that. Um, and then uh, he bought me the, the boudoir. Um, I was very, had very low confidence, so I, didn't, I was like, oh no, why have you bought me this? <laughs> um, and yeah, as soon as I did it, I loved it. I loved every second of it. Um, the studio was quite impressed with the work that I did. Um, and they recommended that I joined Purple Port. Um, and then, yeah, four years later, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I also understand that you do photography, or you've had a few shoots. Yeah. So, what got you into that side of it as well? Um, a friend of mine uh, realised that I liked, I was interested in the back of the camera, um, and she she once said to me, why don't you have a go and see if you like it. Um, so she gave me the camera um, and, and took a few shots of her. Uh, and she lent me, bless her, uh, her camera. Um, and I've just been experimenting since then. We've been, been sort of having a few shoots with friends, um, with models, and with my children, <laughs> bless them. Um, and yeah, I'm going, going, just shooting around really and just practicing and getting as much practice Possible, but so which side do you prefer behind or in front? <laughs> uh, I prefer modeling, I right. do prefer modeling, but um, that's where I can be really uh, creative. Um, I do enjoy the photography um, and the editing side of things. I enjoy editing more than actually taking yeah. the pictures, um, but I definitely, I definitely prefer modeling. Do you find um, doing photography actually helps you with the modelling or Absolutely. do you think it's a hindrance? Or? No, I think it, it, it helps you understand lighting and um, and how, how where the lighting falls on your body, um, camera settings, if you've got a photographer who isn't that experienced um, and, and they're like, oh I don't know what to do with my camera, you can kind of help them a little bit. Um, I'm not like really experienced, but I do I do chip in and help. Um, like yesterday, I was helping with the lighting and yeah. and camera settings. So awesome. Have you had any bad experiences with um, if you say something when a photographer's like, I don't know what I'm doing? A few, of, yeah. yeah. You kind of realise that okay, I'll well, back off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I won't say anymore. Yeah, um, yeah you kind of realise that yeah, they don't obviously want. Because you sometimes I, I work, I've worked with the Artemis and. Sometimes people can get a bit because she does photography as well. Yeah. And whether they book her because or they don't book her because she's a photographer and they're a bit like well, you probably know more than I do. And I feel a bit intimidated, <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah. by that, and that can, that's understandable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I've only had a couple of bad experiences with that. Yeah. Um, but a lot of the, most of the time, people are very like, oh yeah, please help. <laughs> um, and I, you know, I always make sure that I say, you know, I'm, I'm no professional with this. I'm not, I, you know, I'm not really experienced with photography. Yeah. Um, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, 
you mentioned about the family life. Mm -hmm. So how do you juggle that and how do you separate model life and family life and how does it fit in with the plans? Because obviously modelling, you can be travelling, you can be going to London or... Absolutely. It is uh, very well organised by myself. <laughs> I have to make sure that everything is planned um, ahead of time. My shoots are always planned ahead. Um, like I've just done a mini tour in London yeah. and I knew that my eldest wanted to see Tutankhamun exhibition yeah. so I planned that around oh, cool. my shoots, yeah. knew that he wanted to do that so then we went on and did that and, yeah. and did all the shoots as well so yeah it works, it works well <laughs> when it works well, yeah. um, there are times when it, there's a few clashes and you go oh no why did not I think of that <laughs> but most of the time yeah. it works. Yeah. There's one thing that I really liked about when I first worked with you when I cast it mm. on Purple Pool, the um, pre-shoot comments, you know, we like, Absolutely. you were talking about, is there anything special you want me to bring, yeah. and, you know, outfits and stuff, and I really, that really made me think, I actually, she takes this thing seriously, yeah. she's not just going to turn up and then I'm like, okay, what do I work with? Yeah. So, yeah, that was oh, actually Thank you. Really no, I, I always make sure that I ask, you know, where do you want me to be? what time, yeah. um, and what would you like me to bring, how would you like hair and makeup, yeah. nails, um, because some people want specific things, yeah. um, and others don't, they don't, yeah. you know, um, I don't like throwing it too far, the net too far, into the conversation a little bit, because they get a bit, ooh, uh, <laughs> just bring everything, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. so you have to be a bit, kind of, you know, do you want lingerie, do you want fashion, what, yeah. what are you after? Yeah you know, what style of photography are you wanting to go down? Because um, the other thing helps. I didn't necessarily think about, when we were first talking, I said to you, is there anything you want in terms of food and drink and stuff? That's and you told me about your allergies, allergies and things. Yeah. So that, again, is something that people don't necessarily think about. Yeah, they don't. And, and allergies are, yeah, they can, I mean, they can make or break a shoot for me. If I eat something yeah. um, that makes me poorly, then, yeah, then it's game over. <laughs> Well, the photographer doesn't know. If you eat yeah. something and then you take a bad reaction, yeah. the, the photographer might be like, well, I'll book you for three hours and I want my hundred, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. or a thousand images. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah so you have so. to, you know, plan and make sure that people are aware. Particularly, I mean, I, also I've had people say, oh, you know, I want to do a shoot of latex. Right. I'm really, really <laughs> bad yeah. with latex. Like, I end up being a balloon. So I don't want, yeah, yeah. you have to make sure that communication yeah. with the photographer is... <laughs> key really yeah definitely yeah. Um, on that as well I was going to ask you about um, so like important issues like model safety um, mm. how do you guarantee or I know you can't guarantee but obviously things like Purple Port have references um, what other things do you kind of look for when working with someone for the first time um, when looking with someone for the first time I think references obviously mm. on Purple Port or um, references from other models that I know so if a photographer's worked with a friend of mine um, or models that I can message um, then that's that's a good thing for me um, and communication with the photographer you know if he's okay say he hasn't got any references and I say well the other option is to come to a group shoot or a studio day or a, then chaperone. I, or a chaperone are you okay with that if they go, oh yeah, sure, that's great, then I kind of think, well, okay, this should be okay. Yeah. If they're not, then I start to think, mm, hang on a minute, why are you, why are you a bit yeah. funny about this? Because sometimes you can't necessarily go on the quality of their work either, yeah. because you might find that someone produces some brilliant shots, but they might actually be a bit of a creep. Yeah, but, exactly. Um, and some of that is actually coming out and out of purple port and stuff, isn't it? So, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So you don't know necessarily who to trust them. Yeah, which yeah. can be hard as a as a model, um, starting Especially out, and, yeah. Like going to London, so you're not even near your home. Exactly, you're not yeah. near your home, um, and you don't know who to trust, where to go, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, which is one of the reasons why I travel with my family, yeah. um, because then I know that they're there, and they're, yeah. you know I can go help yeah. <laughs> if I need to, you know. So this is actually something that we've talked about before, and we're going to make a separate video on it actually about the whole model industry and what it's like from the model side and things to think about. So that will be another video that we'll actually do. Mm -hmm. um, because I think 
that is actually quite an important thing so yeah. that model safety and travel Absolutely. and what to expect and again communication on what to expect in things like images or whether it's a page shoot and the idea of some models don't know that on a page shoot you don't theoretically get images yeah. but it's some true. photographers like some, to work with yeah. models and give images and da 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 so again that's a whole another video whole that we'll get video. into Absolutely, yeah. it's a bit yeah. too much to, to talk about <laughs> especially this is more about air anyway so um, so I ask photographers about how they find inspiration mm. as a model how does that work with you? Do you look at magazines and see how to do poses? And where do you find inspiration? Uh, I find inspiration from uh, magazines, YouTube, um, other models that I know or I admire on film report. I think, oh yeah, she's she's amazing. You know, um, Artemis, Artemis Fauna is one of my big people that I you know think, well, wow, she's really good. Yeah. Um, so I look at her poses, how she poses with her hands. I have real difficulty with hands and, and knowing where to place them, so I, I've tried to focus on that quite a lot. Um, Pinterest is quite a good one um, for just for ideas of poses. So if you have a, a fashion pose that you really, really want to try, um, then you can you know go on Pinterest and find some ideas from there. Um, YouTube is very good for watching posing ideas and I, when I first started out I watched a particular video on posing and, and how fast to pose um, there was this one girl she posed really fast and I was like wow this is what this is like I want to be like this um, you know so yeah and YouTube YouTube really good for things like that so. awesome. leading on from that I was one thing that I was really impressed with when we first worked together was the fact that you could pose um, and that kind of helped me because sometimes as a photographer you're looking at other things so you're looking at like that with the clothing or how you're doing the lighting and working with someone that can pose takes a great Absolutely. element off you as a photographer because you don't have to then say oh move your hand here or don't do that or, um, so what would you say to other models about posing or where did you learn your posing again you talked about magazines and things. magazines youtube other models watch other models um, yeah, for inspiration and, and just and practice in front of the mirror as yeah. well because that is you can see how your body reacts in a pose, see what, what suits your body because you, a pose that um, another model does might not necessarily suit you yeah so because that's it's really difficult sometimes when booking a model for the first time because you can see their work and you can think oh right well she photographs really well but you don't know how they're going to work and yeah. whether the relationship that you get together works and you, you, know, you can um, find poses and things. So like a couple of the big things that I look for is like posing and like expression, um, which is fantastic. Like I said, that's one reason why now I work with it quite a bit. Um, and yeah, I don't want to sound harsh, but I really wish that more models would take that on board mm. and actually learn about it and be professional about that sort of thing like I know in certain areas models are known as like clothes hangers because you're just wearing a fashion look. Yeah, yeah. but when you're yeah. photographing for like a magazine or even just as a hobby like I do emotion and posing is like it's such really a big image and Absolutely. big part of the yeah. image and it really helps and also learning genres so learn about what a commercial shoot is what a high fashion shoot is you know, whether you're wearing swimwear lingerie you kind of like Learn change your poses for those yeah. um yeah i think it's really important to to be aware of, of different poses for different genres yeah. um when i first started out i hadn't got a clue yeah. of how to pose and yeah. how to to i had an idea of how to do it, expressions but i was very shy and very unconfident um and then I had a, someone say to me, you need to express more. So I then researched it more yeah. and learned. And obviously with my acting background as well, that helps. I was going to say, yeah, that probably helps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, so what's your favourite type of modelling? I love fashion. Absolutely love doing fashion. Uh, I love fashion nude as well. Um, just expressing with my body 
wearing the clothes, mm -hmm. showing the clothes off, um, is a big, is a big thing for me. Yeah, I really enjoy that. Because um, another video that I'm doing <coughs> is um, my insight into how I book a shoot or arrange a shoot and think about how I get the final shot. Um, and one of the things is actually talking to the model maybe and we come up with ideas um, like the shoot that you said you know you wanted to shoot in a, a garbage bag <laughs> so um, I'll put the image up so you can see it but the idea of when you said oh I want to shoot in a, in a, you know, a garbage bag. bag it's like okay <laughs> and then the next one was like that's really shiny how the hell am I going to like that but it actually worked it worked really well, so. really well. <laughs> And I used two of the images for my calendar, which you yeah. shot for me. So. But I, I love that also about the creativity and bouncing ideas Absolutely. off each other. Because sometimes it's not just about you know like the photographer coming up with an idea or whatever. Sometimes it can be you know you work together, yeah. and that's why I think sometimes the, yeah. the shoots work quite well because it might be a case of like oh what about this or bring this in or so you know. <laughs> Absolutely. So leading on from that question about your favourite kind of type of modelling. Um, what would you love to do in modelling or where do you hope to be? Would you like to create a legacy and become a supermodel? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to um, work more with fashion brands. Yeah. Uh, at the moment I work with Five Pound Stuff. Yeah. Um, quite a lot of their face at their website which is great, it's amazing. Um, and I promote their clothes, I'm wearing one of their tops now. Um, and promote their clothing. Yeah. So that's, that, you know, that's How great. How did that come about? Um, a, another model, a uh, male model, was uh, sent some, some of their clothes and I contacted them through him um, and said, would you, would you work with me? Um, and they were really excited. They were like, yeah, of course, that'd be great. Um, and I, you know, get, get images of the clothes. They send me stuff. I film it for my YouTube channel. Um, so just, you know, get as much, as much content for them, for their website as possible. And they then send me more clothes. Um, and it's just, just a cycle thing like that, which is great. Um, but I'd love to work more with fashion brands, um, with lingerie brands as well. Uh, Blue Avenues, one, um, you know, massive. I'd love to be in a commercial for them. That would be. I saw just, that video you did. That was yeah. really good. Oh, really thank well you. Shot and, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I shot it really well um, in my home, which is amazing. Oh, you wow. wouldn't even know that that was my my house with my two children's toys everywhere. <laughs> Because um, it was very soft and delicate, yeah. and like shallow depth of field. Adam Hornsby uh, shot that in my home, so yeah, it was just it was all sh shallow depth of field and um, just yeah, nice close ups. And, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, so you'd like to do more of that? Yeah, I'm an affiliate for Blue Up New, so it oh, means that I can um, wear their things and promote them and, and stuff. Um, but I'd like to I'd like to work with them on, a, on something and, and actually do a, a shoot for them. Um, that would be the dream, I think. <laughs> we day. all have aspirations. Yeah. We yeah. do, I'd love we to do. do fashion a lot more. Absolutely. Um, and I'd like to work with the team, so stylists, yeah, makeup absolutely. artists, and get the model and create the proper shoot yeah. as opposed to just like me and the model. But we still create some stunning yeah. images. But absolutely. <laughs> you know, we all aspire to more. <laughs> absolutely, and why not? Yeah. You know? Why not? Um, so another question is, what advice would you give to people starting out? Um, to learn as much as you as you can about modelling. Um, learn different poses. Speak to other models as well because I think there's a big thing of not being not speaking to other models. Yeah. It's a big kind of like oh I can't speak to her. She, she you know she might not be very nice or whatever. But a lot of other models are really nice and they're willing to help as much as possible. You know, if you're starting out, just message them and just say, oh, I'm starting out, I'm a bit nervous. Um, contact them as well about other photographers and say, is this photographer safe to work with? Um, a lot of the time models will reply and they'll say, yes, absolutely, he's fine, I've worked with him five, six times. Um, you know, or actually, no, don't work with him. <laughs> um, or her. Or her, yeah, or her, <laughs> absolutely. Um, you know, and... And you may well find you make a friend out of that as well, which yeah. is, you know, I've made some wonderful friends through just messaging other models. Um, buy some clothes that look nice, buy some lingerie, it doesn't have to be expensive. Primark sell 
sell lingerie that looks pretty, but it's cheap. Um, so again, yeah. on that thing about the pre-communication and bringing some bits and pieces, would you say there's certain bits and pieces to have as a staple in the kit? Absolutely. Some black lingerie is yeah. my kind of go-to. Yeah. Um, if a photographer doesn't really know what to, what to shoot, then black lingerie. Um, probably a dress, um, a nice sort of gownish dress. Yeah. Um, and then a casual look as well, so like jeans and a t-shirt, yeah. just to kind of make sure that you've got those kind of things, basics, basics and then you can build on that with other things. Yeah. And when I first started out, I, I didn't have a lot, yeah. um, but now my wardrobe is, is very full. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sell some clothes. But I suppose, again, when you're modelling, if you're being shot by lots of different photographers, People are going to see the same outfits quite a lot, Absolutely. so you have to change. You have to lot. change. It can yeah. be like an expensive thing, so having a brand Absolutely. is fantastic. Absolutely, you know, and that really helps because then I've got. I mean, at home I've got jeans, I've got tops from them, I've got I've got jumpers. The yeah. jumpers look really nice, you yeah. know, because of the texture of them. Yeah. Um, you know, they look great on camera, so it's it, they send me stuff like that, which is great. Um, and again, for the advice for the new models or whatever, unreal expectations. So. Again, with the whole world of Instagram and these fake celebrities and people like, thinking that there's more to it, is this sort of things that you would think to say, don't expect too much or, you know, what, as a grounding really when you get into modelling, people are expecting it's going to be like a, a, Paris, uh, a Paris fashion shoot. <laughs> Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's really not. It's uh, often cold. Yeah. Um, some studios can be cold. Um, they can be, you know, or it can be quite warm sometimes. The studios are warm as well. Um, and it, it's not this glamorous thing that people think it is. It's yeah, yeah it's great. It's great fun. Yeah. Um, but it's hard. It's long hours. It's it, it can be taxing on the body. Yeah, I suppose if you're absolutely. holding poses for a long time, smiling for three hours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, it can be tiring, you know, and travelling backwards and forwards to shoots, it can be tiring. But I love my job. Yeah. I do. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that's uh, a bit of a wrap, but where can people see you? Um, you also do a YouTube channel? I do a YouTube channel. <laughs> um, started that about three, four months ago now. Um, yeah. Uh, very nervous on camera, <laughs> um, but getting there, yeah. Um, you can also find me on Instagram, LJ2016, um, Facebook, Elle Jones, and uh, Twitter as well. Awesome. I'll leave links to um, all of your socials below and everything. Yeah. Um, and definitely go and check out that video by Adam because that is really nice. Um, that's, like, I'd love to do stuff like that myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so thank you again for thank coming and sharing your and you know, what inspires you and stuff and hopefully um, people can get a bit of a different perspective on the whole um, fashion and model photography kind of side of it so yeah thanks for watching I hope you've got an interest if there's any information you want to know or if you want to know more about Elle go and check her out leave some questions leave comments um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one thank you yes. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? No, it was good. <laughs>